Mm. So this is a story about love. Very much so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a story about the very universal experiences like love. Yeah, absolutely. Love and and life and and death. And I think you know that's always what's appealed to me about writing it from the start was that hopefully um, these universal experiences would really be you know end up being quite profound because you know because everyone sort of goes through them to one extent or another. So yeah, I'm glad you thought that. Yes. Yeah. And there is a really beautiful as well connection with the hands. Yeah. You see? So the movie opened in that. Yeah. But during all the movie, mm. you can see how important is mm. the touch. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the piano, yeah. mm -hmm. the writing, mm. uh, how they love each other mm. with the hands and everything. Yeah. I don't know if this is something. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think it, I always tried to make. The film's about intimacy, right, I think, basically. And I think the way we shot it and the way we performed it was with that in mind at all times. So when I was writing it, I was trying to find something that felt like a motif throughout the film. But it had to be something that was, that was sort of an expression of their trust and their love for each other. And because, as you say, they both work with their hands, one way or the other, a pianist or a writer, it felt like that was quite a nice little um, simple connection between them throughout. And one of them is a musician. Yeah. And the soundtrack is amazing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We had the and we had so many beautiful, yeah. Yeah. not bands, about 70s or 80s. Yeah. So yeah. How did you choose the songs to put inside the movie? Well, I think the songs needed for me to reflect the characters and their generation. So I wanted it to sort of speak speak to that generation and be kind of and be like kind of modern and cool I mean they're kind of cool guys kind of sort of so um, it was partly because of that but then also we work with this incredible composer called Keaton Henson who's really he's really well known in the UK he's a kind of folk musician and this is his first um, his first uh, feature film and then of course you've got Colin playing at the end so yeah there's a lot of music in the film it is him yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 it's amazing because he so Colin um, he plays piano, but like not, not that well. <laughs> like he used to play as a, a child, and right from the start, I said to him, "Look, I really, I want this to be as natural as possible. I don't really want to fake it. I think if we can try and find a way of making it work." And he said, "Look, I'll learn it. I'll just learn it." And he was amazing. He's just the most dedicated <laughs> guy ever. I mean, we know he's a, mm. you know, already mm. an incredible actor. Mm. But what I didn't know. Was the, he's so amazing next to Stanley Yeah, I think the, the, I mean, the film was always going to either, it was going to live or die on the two central performances and the believability of that relationship. And I think we were helped enormously by the fact that they're best friends in real life and they love each other, they've known each other for 20 years, they've been through some really difficult things together, you know in their personal life and we we worked with that as much as we could you know we obviously the cat the characters are very different from them and the situation is very different obviously but there was such a natural rapport and like love and chemistry between them right from the start that it was kind of effortlessly beautiful right from the first uh, you know the first day